That's all. That's all. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, are seeing the good and the evil. All things that you do are recorded by God. There's not one thing that you have done, not one thing that you have said in secret. There's not one act of fornication that you have done. Anything that you have done that God does not know about is that's recorded in the books of your life. But Jesus said there will be a great white throne judgment and you everyone will be recorded by the books of their life. You see, if this was my book, a book of my life in heaven, it would be practically empty because the only thing that will be there are the things that God did in my life. All the things that God did to glorify Himself, that His Son would be exalted and lifted up in my life. All the things that I did by faith, believing the Word of God, trusting in God, trusting in the Spirit of God. And not trusting in men, but trusting in God. Trusting Him who sits upon the throne. Trusting Him who controls all things. Trusting Him who spoke to the wind and the waves and they obeyed Him. Trusting Him who causes the stars in the universe to take their place and the planets to turn. But for you, your sins have not been blotted out. My sins have been blotted out. My sins have been separated as far as the east is from the west. But have your sins been blotted out? You see, there's going to be a book of life that's going to be opened up. And Jesus said, everyone whose name is not found written in that book will be cast into a lake of fire and brimstone. You'll be bound hand and foot and cast into a lake of fire and brimstone. A place where the worm never stops eating your body. The flame never dies. But the worst part about all of that is this. You'll remember every time that God tried to love you. See, you say that this is not love. But God says, those whom he loves, he reproves and he rebukes. Just like a father spanks the son he delights in, so God disciplines his children. The Bible says better of the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy. See, the one who loves you most will tell you the most truth. And God is trying to love you even though you don't call it love. God calls it love. Those whom God loves, he disciplines. When God disciplines, it's very hard. But the Bible says, but afterwards, it yields the fruit of righteousness, of peace. You see, if God loves you, you will walk in paths of righteousness. If you are a child of God, you will walk in paths of righteousness. You, you will do what pleases God. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into your rest. Or will you here depart from me? I never knew you that you never had a relationship with God. You had a relationship with the church, a religion, your own mind, your own good deeds. But I'm telling you, it's not by works of righteousness that we have done, but it's according to His mercy He has saved us. It's not by works of righteousness that we have done, but it's His mercy. His mercy is given to us that we might run to Christ. That we might turn to Christ. That we might look upon Jesus Christ. He is the preeminent. He is the center of all above all. He is the great one. Jesus Christ, the one who suffered and died and rose from the dead. Jesus Christ the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the one who is willing and able to deliver you out of the kingdom of darkness and transform you in the kingdom of the love of His Son. That's beautiful. Jesus Christ is beautiful. Jesus Christ is wonderful. Jesus Christ is here, willing to give you the power and the ability to walk uprightly, to fall in love with Him, to know Him, to serve Him, to obey Him. Everything circles around Him. Oh, the depths of the riches of both the wisdom and knowledge of God. His judgments are unsearchable. They are past finding out. Oh, it's to Him, through Him, and for Him, in Him. We are complete in Him, but you're not in Him. If you're not born again by the Spirit, you need to be born again by the Spirit of the living God. The Spirit of the living God comes and does this miracle within. The kingdom of God comes within. 
the evidence of that kingdom is that you bear fruit in the spirit of the living God. He gives you the power to love because God is love. He gives you the power to lay down your life. It's an action. But you show God your love by resisting the evil and choosing the good. And that's by the power of the living God that he gets all the glory. You know what glory is? Oh, glory is the beauty of God. Oh, the wonder of God. We want you to experience the glory of Christ. Oh, the glory of Christ and what he has done. That you might walk with him. That you might experience it. Oh, it's wonderful. It's incredible to be friends with God. To be a child of God. To walk in the light and experience the forgiveness of God every day. Oh, I need Christ more today that he would cleanse me, change me. Come talk to us. We'd love to share with you a deeper, deeper revelation than even this.